Hello again, 8th graders. If you're watching this video, you're watching for the instructions on the procedure section of the science fair. You should have already watched the hypothesis and prediction sections. Um, similar to that video, this video is going to go over how to write a good procedure, and I'm basically going through the instructions. Um, those instructions can be acquired through the same link as in the previous video that's in the same packet. In fact, it's on the third page of that packet. But this is what you're going to be looking at once you get into Google Classroom. This is the instructions for the procedure, or rather the um, place where you're going to write your procedure. The only thing that you need is this little field right here where you're going to actually type in. You should know that this section of the science fair is worth quite a bit. It's worth 20% of the overall grade for science fair, so this one has a lot riding on it. And it's going to be probably the one that you do the most revisions on if you uh, are like most students. Just like the previous uh, section, this is due on Friday, where we're going to have an in-class workshop day, just like I described in the other video. So for this part of the science fair, what you're going to be doing is writing a procedure here. So let's go over to the instructions. The instructions are not that one, this one. The instructions are on the third page of your handout, if you've gotten a paper copy or if you're looking digitally too, I guess. And what the first thing you need to know about the procedure is, is that your procedure has three sections, a materials list, a procedure itself, and the variables. And so you're going to write all three of these things into the procedure just like this. So I'm going to start typing as if this was mine. So you're going to have a materials list and you're literally going to list out all of your materials. So material one, two, three, whatever, however many materials. Please do not list things that are not relevant to the experiment. So things like a pencil and paper to write your data on. Those are not materials for the science fair. The next section is procedure. For your procedure, these should be in numbered steps. Whoops, so one, two, three, so on and so on. Never, ever, ever make your first step say, gather materials. That is wrong, no, 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 no. The reason why you don't write that is because that's basically what the materials section is saying. The materials section says, go get these materials. At the very end, the third section is for variables. You should have, obviously, at least an IV, a DV, and a list of control variables. According to the rubric, you need three of these minimum, but if you have a con uh, control variable that um, is pretty obviously necessary to your experiment and it goes way over three, then obviously more is good, but um, three is the minimum. So in these, uh, these procedure directions, the next thing that you should know is that you should not start your experiment until you have an approved procedure. So what you're going to do is after you're done, you'll turn this in, and I'm going to give it a look for uh, basically for safety, first off. And if it is a safe procedure, even if it might have some flaws in it or some controls missed or whatever, I'm going to throw it back to you and say, all right, this procedure is approved for safety. You can go forward. If you do not get an approved procedure, you cannot move forward and start your procedure. It is imperative, because if you're doing something unsafe, I can't have you doing that. So back to the instructions. So after you've got your three sections made in your materials, you're listing all your materials. Procedure should be a numbered step list. Um, they should be specific and in order. Basically, in this section, shorter is better. So if ever there's a spot where you can be like, repeat steps blank through blank. Whenever possible, do that. You don't want your procedure running on for pages after pages after pages. That's not going to work. Similarly, if you have part of your experiment where you are designing something like an apparatus that you have to build even before you can start your testing, you should have a section of a procedure describing how you do that. So for example, there are people who needed to set up like um, a kicking mechanism so they could kick a ball and then measure how far it goes. So the kicking me mechanism had to be built um, first, and that had to be described in the procedure. Once you're finished with your entire procedure, the rubric is below. It is quite long because, like I already said, the procedure is worth a lot of points. It's worth 20% of the entire grade. So make sure that you've checked through this. You should know that the biggest section that um, I'm looking for is basically just to see that it's like a possible experiment. Um, is it something that would actually get you to data if you were to go through? Does it actually test the hypothesis? This row is the most important. Below all of that, I've got some exemplars. So um, this is somebody's statement of problem, their hypothesis and prediction, and then of course their entire procedure. And all of these things are about the same exact topic. I strongly advise that you read through this and take note of a few things. 
they've got all their materials listed, just things that are required to actually do their experiment, please notice that the materials list is very specific. They don't just say seeds. They tell me exactly what kind of seeds. I should be able to go out and repeat your experiment exactly by following your procedure and getting your materials. In their experiment, they're telling me exactly how much material to use and where to put it and how to do it, and they're very specific. But notice also that their procedure is pretty short. It's only six steps long. It doesn't take up much of the page. It's got a lot of density, so there's like a lot of information packed into a little space. And then finally, their variables. They do a good job of pointing out that, yeah, they had more than three. These were the three that they, they focused on the most. Um, we are again going to be workshopping this, so at least a rough draft is required of this section come Friday, and it does not need to be polished. We're just going to be talking through um, some of the finer points of making it onto the road to being polished. Good luck.